Welcome to another episode of Get Schooled with Slam. And today I'm going to show you how to do a, a very basic uh, signature in GIMP. Um, you can use this for, you know, not just necessarily a signature, but, uh, you know, like a thumbnail or your YouTube background or Twitch background or whatever. Um, but anyway, this is going to be really basic. Uh, we're barely going to scratch the surface of what you can do with GIMP. Um, but uh, let's get started here. Um, here, uh, I am, I am currently still running GIMP 2.6. 2.8 is available. Um, I just haven't updated it yet, but, uh, just know, uh, I'll leave a link in the description on, uh, where to, uh, download GIMP. Um, it's basically just GIMP.org, I think, maybe. But anyway, getting it situated here, uh, we're going to create a new and we're going to do an 800 by 160. That's what I typically start with uh, when I do a signature for a forum. Um, you can select the background color. It's pretty much irrelevant for right now. We're just going to leave it uh, leave it default, uh, which I believe um, background is going to be white. Um, so anyway, here's here's our basic uh, outline of, of what we're going to be doing. Um, what we need to do is we're going to start with, uh, with a background. I'm going to do just a background picture. And what I like to do is go to Google and, uh, we'll select, uh, select some type of image. Uh, let's try, let's do an Apache helicopter. I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, so we'll just do a Google search. We'll do an image. Uh, one thing we want to do, we want to get a high resolution image. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, you go to search tools and you go to size and uh, we want to select uh, large here. So now that we've got uh, these large images, uh, we just got to pick one. Uh, this one's pretty dang large, so we'll go with this one. And then we just need to save the image as and oops. If you don't let the thing load up uh, before you save it, it it just does the, it saves a small thumbnail. So Jesus, I'm all fucked up here. Um, okay, here we go. Save image as, and we're just gonna save it right to our desktop here. And um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Click save, and uh, we'll go back to our GIMP, and we're going to go to file. Open as layer. Everything you do, you want to do on a new layer. Uh, for every single thing that you uh, you want, to do. it just makes things so much easier. And trying to uh, keep editing the same layer and stuff. Uh, so anyway, as you see, the, the image is way larger than uh, than what our um, our outline is. So this is what three thousand some pixels. Yeah, and our, our so we're gonna reduce the size. Click the little chain link, and that keeps the aspect ratio. And uh, let's reduce this about 850. It's a little bit larger than what we have. So I'm just going to go down and uh, set it over top and uh, scale it down. And go back up uh, to our 100. There we go. So now we're going to click on uh, this move, the little arrows here, and uh, we can position it to where we want it. And that looks, yeah, it looks good. That's just going to be our background um, to uh, to our signature. So there we go. Now the uh, you see it's much larger. So what we do, we go right click on our layer, go to layer to image size, and that basically auto crops it to uh, to where you want it or to our to our uh, signature size. Okay. So now we got our background, and let's go add some text here. Okay. So we click on the A. That's our text, and we click on here for our options, and then you see our size, our color, fonts, blah blah blah. Um, I think for right now we're just gonna go, we're just gonna do white. Uh, we're not gonna leave it white, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna change the size to mm, 90. We'll start with that, and uh, it has a ton of default fonts. Um, all of them suck. <laughs> There's so many cool fonts out there that you can get, and uh, here I'll show you how to show you where to find them right now. Uh, I like to use a, a website called DaFonts or DA Fonts or DaFonts. <laughs> um, anyway, here it is. Here you can see they got a bunch of categories and yada yada uh, that you can select from. I already know which one I want to use. Um, it's uh, it's called Diffused, so we'll just do a search for it. I already know it's on this website. 
So, but uh, there it is. There's our diffused font, and I'll show you how to how to put it into uh, to GIMP. So, click on download. You see it there. Load up gives you your uh, your zip file. Um, the TTF file. Oops, close that. TTF file is uh, is your font. So, now go to search. Just do a search uh, for fonts. And you find the folder that uh, is specific for GIMP. You see here it says GIMP 2.6 fonts. That is the folder that we want to dump this in. So all you got to do is click it and uh, drag it into into the folder. Now, I already have it in mine, so um, I'm not going to. Well, if I do, it's just going to tell me, ask me if I want to replace it. And, of course, you know, no, I don't want to. So that's how you do. And once you do it, you have to restart GIMP. Otherwise, it's not going to show up. So once you uh, download a, uh, a new font, you have to restart it. So, um, all right. So let's put our text in here. We'll put in uh, over 30. Oops. How about we select our font that we uh, just downloaded first here. So uh, scroll up here. Uh, what was it called? Diffused? Yeah. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Diffused bold. Got our... Okay. Over 30 clan... Done. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit large, so... Oops, move it over here. Eh, let's reduce the size. We'll make it like 85. That'll be good. Um, now that we want to get it centered, there's an easy way to do it center. You know, make the we're gonna stretch it down to right on the outside of our text, and we're gonna go up to here to this alignment tool, and you select it. Right now, it's not selecting anything; they're all grayed out. So you have to actually select your text, and there it lights up. So now you can center it up there. Uh, that makes it pretty easy, and gets it perfectly in the middle. Okay, so it already made a new layer uh, when you do the thing. So now we got our background, we got our image, and we got our text. Uh, so we're going to go to text, we're going to go to alpha selection. Okay, that is going to select just the text. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a drop shadow on it, give a little bit of a depth. Um, and you can play with uh, how deep you want it, you know, how many pixels, how many offset, and blah, 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 the color and everything. I'm just going to use the default one. So we're going to do that. It automatically creates another uh, uh, layer for the, um, for the background there, as you see. So now we've got our text, and we can go to Select None, and that will unselect our text. And... Yeah, okay, we moved the drop shadow down below the uh, below our text. So, uh, Okay, so we got our text. We got our... Let's put some uh, texture onto our text here. So let's, let's do a search for steel and see what we can come up with. Yeah, here we go. So uh, this is what I like to do. I just do image searches for whatever I think. You know, here's a cool little diamond plate deal. So we'll use this, uh, we'll use this as a... Um, as a, a texture for a text, so uh, shoot, did it again, right? I saved it too fast. So um, save image as. We can go to their desktop. Okay, good enough. All right, so we got this large image of diamond plate, and we want to apply that to our text. So we're going to select the top layer. We're going to open as a layer again, and this is going to put the uh, the steel over top of everything right now but that's just temporary so there's our image and is really large so um i forgot to do this on the first time the first one uh scale tool so it's the chain link is already selected so we're going to reduce the size of this to about 800 um you know our our image size is only 800 so that'll be good scale it down and we're going to select our move tool drag it over top and don't worry, this is only temporary. We're going to move it yeah, right about there. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to trim it down. So select the layer with the text. Go to um, right-click, alpha to selection. That's going to select our text, right? Now select, we're, yeah, there you go. We're going to select the diamond plate image. If you select uh, or hit delete right now, it's going to delete it out of the text. We want to do it on the outside of the text. So we're going to go up to select and invert. That's going to flip-flop it. Now if we hit delete, there, it, selected, it deleted everything else but what was in the text. Okay, So now we can go to uh, select none. We got our text. We got our backdrop. And we can let's kind of wash out the uh, that image here. 
Eh. Let's see. Maybe if we change it to black, we're going to just uh, use the bucket tool, make that background. See, we're on the background layer. And uh, see, we change it to black. So now if we try to reduce the uh, uh, opacity, now it just kind of fades it out. And yeah, I don't really like that either. So, um, tell you what, let's, um, let's find a different background. Yeah, we won't even worry about that one. Let's, um, let's do a different background. Let's try, uh, let's do a sniper. Do a search for sniper. And, yeah, let's see. This is a good one here. Yeah, that'll work. So, we will right-click on this image. Wait for it to load up here. There we go. Uh, save image as. I'm going to save to our desktop here. And that will work just fine. So we're going to select our uh, our layer down here. We're going to open as a layer again. And select our sniper image that we just downloaded. There we go. Uh, it's too large, of course, so we're going to select it and scale it down. Again, we're going to go to about, uh, let's do 850. And uh, scale that down. And we're going to move that into position over top of the uh, the helicopter one here. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And let's rotate this guy a little bit, get that barrel of the gun to show up more. So we select the rotate tool and click on it and just spin Spin it around here. Let's see if get that barrel horizontal. That looks good. And yeah. Alright. Select the move tool. Move it around a little bit. Get that position. I think that looks good. Yeah. That'll work. Alright. So yeah, I think we'll use that one instead. So we can turn off the little eye on the. Uh, that'll turn off the helicopter image, even though it's not going to show up anyway. Um. And actually, how about uh, you can see as uh, you can you can turn off uh, different layers by selecting the uh, the eye. Um, we're gonna get rid of some of these layers that we don't need. Like this one, we don't need anymore. This is the original text, so we can right click, delete layer. Uh, this helicopter one, you can do the same thing, delete layer, or you can go down here to this little trash can, which is kind of cut off, but uh, you can click on the trash can, and that'll delete the layer as well. So, all right. Um, how about we do some some texture to our uh, our text? So let's do alpha to selection to the selector thing again. Script foo script foo is a plugin. It's not gonna come in. Uh, I'll tell you that a little bit later. But uh, um, we'll do an inner inner bevel. This is gonna give it a 3D effect. Script foo is a plugin that you. I'll, I'll put a link in the descri description on where to download that and how to install it. And yeah, there we go. We got some 3D effect here. That looks pretty cool. And uh, let's make that background. Let's wash that out a little bit. It's awfully, awfully. It's kind of hard to read the text, but uh, um, change that background to white. It was black, as you can see there. So um, we can select this uh, little slider bar here for the op opacity and wash that down a little bit. And uh, yeah. I think that'll work. That'll work just good. All right. Perfect. So there you have it. That's a very, very basic. This is just scratching the surface of, of what all can be done with GIMP. Um, yeah. So um, we're going to merge these layers down. All this does is it basically it um, it combines the, all these layers together when you when you right-click and merge down to the, the layer below it. So it... it includes it all into one so see now if we turn it off it turns off everything so um, normally you want to leave your your layers alone you want everything on the layers so um, that's it guys uh, we'll just do a file save as and we're gonna save this as a PNG and um, that's basically it guys so I hope this is uh, this is informative and and get you guys going on uh, on making your own um, your own signature. Um, if you got any questions or have a certain thing you want to do, I am by no means an expert. I'm just all self-taught on uh, on GIMP and and just playing around, just playing around with the different 
options and stuff. Just remember, everything you do, do it on a new layer. Um, and every time you want to make a make a change to like uh, your text, alpha to selection. Um, do a search on YouTube on different tutorials for GIMP. There's a ton of stuff you can do, all sorts of stuff you can do for it. So um, that's basically it, guys. If you have anything specific you want, to, you're, you're curious as how to do, um, send me a message and uh, or leave a comment, and I'll try to help you guys out. Uh, but basically, that's it for your basic GIMP signature creating <laughs> tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys later. See ya.